Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. So it's an update video on my Savage Arcs and my Beast Main uh, Gargon. So um, I, I've been working on these three and I just, it's kind of taking me a while because I'm trying to get the skin tone right. Uh, this guy here, if I move these two out of the way, out of the back. He, um, the skin tone is a little bit too bright on this guy, I think. Um, I went with a dark Narlock green built it up with like uh, a wash and more narlock green and then just just pure goblin green on top of it but I think it looks nicer on the camera than it does in person but I think the bright green is just a little bit too much Um, I should have toned it down a little bit so what I did with the other two was went with the same base the same narlock green uh, and the wash and then just instead of going pure goblin green I just mixed the narlock green with Den of Stone and uh, I think it looks a lot cooler a lot of it, I think the darker colour is a lot nicer I'll build it up a little bit more just to get it a little bit brighter I don't want it too dark but um, I think this way could be the way to go for a lot of the guys in the US um, I don't mind the unit being a bit mixed you know some guys with light skin you know like light green and some guys that will be a little bit more darker green because I don't think they should be all, you know, identical anyway. So, um, that's pretty much it for them. I take my time because I'm wanting to get the skin tone right for a paint tutorial. Which I'll do on the last few. So that's why I'm wanting to kind of like nail it down and then pick which way I did was uh, my favourite. Um, as for the Gorgon, I haven't touched the big model itself. But I've been working on uh, the kind of the robe thing for his waist. It's pretty much just a little bit of cloth on all skulls. Um, with a den of stone base colour and then just built it up to brighten it up a bit then uh, it just needs a little bit of a touch up there's some of the, the kind of the shadow grey uh, rope on it is a little bit blotchy in some patches but uh, it's pretty much near enough done now just to do a little bit of a tidy up uh, I couldn't find the hand the fist so I had to use a spare hand I had which I painted up I just got it finished this morning uh, just a little tidy up on the nails that's about it then so um yeah that's it as for the banner i'm really not sure what to do yet this is the i only put like one base color on the practice banner to see what it looks like so i still have a lot of work to do on that but i have the this is the banner i was going to use oh, then when i was looking i was wanting to use the banner that you get with the ogre box and uh, their banner is pretty big and i did have a few of them lying around but I, I think I just used all of them eventually. So if anyone has like a spare ogre banner lying around, uh, I'd appreciate it so much if you could send me one. Because I'm either 50 50 about using this one or trying to get an ogre one. The cheapest one on eBay is like 7 euro or something. And like it's a bit much for just a tiny little banner to get. So um, I'm not too sure which one to go with. But I'll paint it up anyway and I'll see what it looks like. The ogre banner, I think, is roughly the same size, but it's a little bit shorter. So maybe the bigger one would look a lot nicer on it. So I am. Um, that's just. I'll just wait and see. Then once everything's nearly near enough done, I'll start work on that. So um. So yeah, that's it. So let me know what you guys think. Um, with the light and the darker skin, the colors green. Uh, which ones would be preferred, or which one looks kind of better? And uh, you know, just leave a comment below. Hit the like button and subscribe. And uh, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next update video then. Uh, thanks for watching.